The term nitric oxide therapy is finding its way into more and more discussions on how to improve cardiovascular health. Nitric oxide therapy can also have a positive impact on wound healing, diabetic complications, cognitive function, sexual health for both men and women, glucose metabolism, blood pressure, cholesterol concerns, kidney function, and athletic performance. Anything that has to do with blood flow can see significant improvements when nitric oxide therapy is properly applied. Hi, this video is from Dan Hammer Health, and if you find value in it, then please subscribe to my channel. To help you understand nitric oxide therapy, I've taken one of my slide presentations and put it into a video. Here it is. Hi, my name is Dan Hammer, and on behalf of the Million Lives Project, I'm going to answer the question, what is nitric oxide therapy? In a nutshell, this is Nobel Prize winning information that can improve your blood flow to naturally address most cardiovascular health concerns. Whether you or a loved one suffers from high blood pressure or diabetic complications like poor wound healing, poor blood flow, and neuropathy, then this information will be helpful to you. Maybe you have a family history of strokes and heart attacks and you want to significantly reduce your risk. Or you have cholesterol concerns, cognitive function issues, and for men sexual health issues like ED, then this presentation is your opportunity to understand how nitric oxide therapy can be a natural and effective way to address these concerns. Now for many, this is new information, information that the medical community has not shared with you. So let's validate this information. In 1998, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how the lining of your cardiovascular system, what is called the endothelium, converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. This set off an explosion of research in this area. There are now more than 100,000 peer-reviewed clinical studies in the area of nitric oxide therapy. Unfortunately, most people have never heard of this natural way to address cardiovascular health concerns. Thankfully, today that changes. Because once you understand the proper application of this information, you'll have the ability to apply this knowledge to address the underlying cause of most cardiovascular health issues. That cause is what the medical community refers to as endothelial dysfunction, or in most cases, atherosclerosis. As you can see by the slide, damage to the lining of your cardiovascular system accumulates over time. This results in cardiovascular health concerns and a dramatic reduction in nitric oxide production. As I've already mentioned, this lining is called the endothelium. When healthy, it regulates almost all of your cardiovascular system. However, there are four major items that directly damage your endothelium. They are high blood pressure, high blood sugar levels, LDL cholesterol, or more specifically very low density lipoprotein, and nicotine. Going back to our previous slide, this damage starts out as inflammation. If this inflammation is not directly dealt with, then your body treats it like an injury. Through a combination of factors, this results in what's known as plaque formation. Over time, this plaque formation grows, which reduces blood flow. Commonly called atherosclerosis, this narrowing of the artery reduces blood flow and the delivery of oxygen and nutrients as well as the proper removal of metabolic and cellular waste products. As this plaque ages, it also becomes brittle and can more easily rupture, causing a blood clot that can then lead to a heart attack or stroke. And as you can see by the slide, a drastic reduction in nitric oxide production. So the question is, why is nitric oxide so important to your cardiovascular health? And the answer is three key benefits. First, nitric oxide relaxes the smooth muscle of the vascular wall, causing vasodilation for improved blood flow. 
This is extremely beneficial for the majority of people with high blood pressure. In fact, helping your endothelium produce higher levels of nitric oxide is a natural way to bring your blood pressure back into the normal range. And since high blood pressure is the number one risk factor for strokes and heart attacks, as well as the number one diabetic complication, this can be a natural way for addressing these issues. The second key benefit of nitric oxide is that it keeps blood platelet cells from sticking together. This naturally helps to reduce the risk for strokes or heart attacks. And the third key benefit is that when your nitric oxide levels are high enough, over a long enough period of time, they can initiate repair mechanisms to heal damage done to the endothelium. This process restores more of your endothelium back to a healthy functioning tissue, which leads to higher levels of nitric oxide to help continue this healing process. As you can see, nitric oxide is critical to your cardiovascular health, which brings us to another key question. How do you optimize your endothelium's ability to create the needed nitric oxide? And the answer centers on six key ingredients. They are L-arginine, L-citrulline, red grape polyphenol extract, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, and pomegranate fruit concentrate. L-arginine is always the first and most important ingredient. As I shared earlier, the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers for again discovering how your endothelium converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. And while L-arginine can be found in the food you eat, the easiest method to make sure you're consuming enough of this amino acid is to use a daily nutritional supplement that contains pure, free-form L-arginine that's also pharmaceutical grade. Unfortunately, the use of L-arginine by itself is not enough. The conversion of L-arginine to nitric oxide only provides a two-hour window of improved nitric oxide production. Then within four to six hours, most people are back to their baseline levels. This results in a temporary increase in blood flow, but not long-lasting benefits. To optimize your production of nitric oxide, you must combine the L-arginine with L-citrulline. This amino acid is metabolized to yield more L-arginine, which enhances the ability of the enzymes of your endothelium to produce higher amounts of nitric oxide over a much longer period of time. Here's the metabolic pathway. And as you can see by the red circle, L-citrulline is key to keeping this nitric oxide production going. The next key ingredient is red grape polyphenol extract. It's important to have this key nutrient because it helps reduce LDL oxidation, which typically causes vascular inflammation, leading to plaque formation and damage to your endothelium. Vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 work together to regulate calcium levels in your bloodstream. Calcium is a key ingredient because the enzymatic production of nitric oxide by your endothelium is a calcium dependent reaction. Additionally, Vitamin D3 supports healthy cardiovascular function and inflammatory response, and increasing the vitamin D levels in your bloodstream can have a profound benefit in helping to prevent diabetic complications. Now let's look at vitamin K. You need to know that the form of vitamin K is critical. Many companies use vitamin K1 because it's significantly cheaper to use. The problem is, Vitamin K1 does not support vascular health and may actually interfere with blood thinning medications. Vitamin K2 is just the opposite. This correct form significantly improves arterial and cardiovascular health. It also plays an important role in preventing calcification of the arteries as well as soft tissues like your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Finally, we have pomegranate fruit concentrate. This ingredient enhances the enzymatic activity of the endothelium, leading to higher production of nitric oxide. In peer-reviewed clinical studies, pomegranate fruit concentrate has been shown to reverse plaque formations within the vascular system because of its ability to increase nitric oxide production. 
This brings us to one final question. How does improved nitric oxide production benefit your cardiovascular health? To answer this, let's look at several concerns. We'll start with high blood pressure because it's the number one risk factor for strokes and heart attacks, as well as one of the leading causes of atherosclerosis that contributes to endothelial dysfunction. As your cardiovascular system narrows, this increases the resistance to blood flow, causing an elevation in blood pressure. To counter this, you need to reduce this resistance to blood flow. Nitric oxide does this by relaxing the smooth muscle of your vascular wall, which lowers the resistance to blood flow. For many, this one simple step helps to return their blood pressure back into the normal range. Another concern is cognitive function, especially as it applies to Alzheimer's disease. Every study that we know of that shows improvement in blood flow to the brain improves cognitive function. And the bottom line to nitric oxide therapy is improved blood flow. Plus there is emerging science that shows that endothelial dysfunction plays a contributing factor in the start and progression of Alzheimer's disease, which means anything you can do to improve the health of your endothelium to optimize nitric oxide production for improved blood flow can significantly reduce your risk for cognitive issues. For men, nitric oxide plays a key role in sexual health. A common concern for men over the age of 40 is ED or erectile dysfunction. There are two forces at work, vasodilation and vasoconstriction. For a man to have an erection, he needs nitric oxide to start and maintain the vasodilation side of the equation. If his nitric oxide levels are too low, no erection. If his nitric oxide levels are reduced, then he can most likely start the erection, but not maintain it. And the reason why is this counterbalancing force, which is vasoconstriction. Without this, men would have an erection all day long, which would be embarrassing and uncomfortable. The way Viagra and Cialis work is that they use a chemical to disable the vasoconstriction side of the equation. This works until a man's nitric oxide levels in their bloodstream get so low that they can no longer create the needed vasodilation. This means drugs like Viagra don't address the underlying cause, which for most men is endothelial dysfunction and lack of sufficient nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide therapy can help address this issue by optimizing nitric oxide production. This leads to increasing baseline levels of nitric oxide, which can then initiate repair mechanisms to heal damage to the endothelium. This returns more of this tissue back to a healthy functioning tissue, producing more nitric oxide. For men, the result will be more morning erections like they had when they were younger. Improved nitric oxide production also benefits athletic performance. This applies to both men and women. As blood flow improves, so does the delivery of oxygen and nutrients. This helps athletes work out at a higher aerobic capacity. Aerobic respiration produces 18 times more energy. Plus it limits the accumulation of lactic acid, which is the limiting factor for most athletes in both their workouts and athletic performance. If you would like to get more videos on how to improve your health, then please subscribe to my channel. If you have questions or need to contact me, then here is my contact information. Thanks for watching and please share this video with others. Together, we can make a major difference in the health of our family and friends.